Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to some Ark Extinction. Gonna be doing a little bit of resource gathering today, and I want to take a look at the glider suit. So the glider suit we had in Crystal Isles, and it's something that's pretty fun to play with, and it's something we can use for when we're on like the flying ferret, in case we get knocked off for some reason so we don't die. So let's take a look what we need real quick for it. I think we just need to get some gems, right? Yeah, some blue ones. We can get those off the trees that are out outside of the walls and then everything else we have the other thing we need is some congealed gas balls so for the hazard suit it helps out with a lot for the heat around here and then we got the helmet that we looted that's like 300 armor so we just need some more of the blue gems and gas balls which I think we get those over in the sulfur area so first things first let's go over here and get some blue gems we should be able to get some just out of the regular trees I haven't played with this guy too much. We do have a, it's either a saddle or a set of blueprint that we looted out of one of the drops that I need to throw on him. Cause I kind of want to, I'd like to be able to level him up more and use him for drops possibly. I do need to do one more element vein. I don't know if I'm gonna use the flying ferret or if I want to use the enforcer, but we need some more elements so I can get the tech base done. So yeah, that blue crystallized sap, we can use that instead of the blue gems. How many do we need? Not many, just 25. And then we need a bunch for the uh, hazmat suit too. Just gotta watch out here for corrupted. And then there are some raptors around here. Usually a tech raptor. I think we should be good on on the gems. Let's see how many we got? We got 91. That should be plenty. I believe so. If not, they're just easy. Got to get the ones that have the white flowers on them. So next thing is we're gonna head over here to the sulfur area. It is so hot over there, man. Holy crap! So let's see what the temperature is here. Temperature here is only 74. Ooh, is a big old nice corrupted Rex. Get some nodules while we're out here too. We can use it instead of the polymer. Dude, we need to tame one of those gas bags, man. I'm not exactly sure what kind of trap is set up for it. But we definitely need a trap for it because man, those things fly away so quick. Dude, I was gonna say what level is this guy, man? Holy crap. I think we need to put some into our damage. All that prime meat, man. Most maps, you're like trying to find prime meat right off so so much. And here, it's like, <laughs> you just got to trash it all the time. Yeah, so right over there, you can kind of see in the distance where the yellow is. That's where we're going to. So this is like the little sulfur flats area. And dude, look at the heat. We're already like overheated. We're even wearing ghillie armor too. Got to watch out for the dinos around here because there are spinos. And then there's the centipedes. Dude, it's like 152 here. Holy crap. But yeah, so you just come up here. Actually, should have checked around before I got off. Gas bag. See, there's a spino there. Oh, that is a regular spino. I was wondering if there was regular ones on this map. There is. Hmm. We should look at taming one of those soon. That's not one of the ones you can get stuff from. Oh, it's these little ones. So that condensed gas, we have to take it and throw it into the industrial forge and it'll melt down into gas balls. So kind of a neat way to get it. And you get some sulfur too, if you want to make some preserving salt. Dude, holy crap, we are overweight. So let's get rid of that. Oh man, I didn't realize the gas weighed so much. Let's throw it into him. Let him do all the heavy lifting. Eh, we'll keep the thatch too. I don't remember what we need back at base, but he is getting kind of overweight. So let's grab some more of this. And then, I can't remember what the ratio is when they melt down. But it's it's simple to come here and get more. I don't think we need all that sulfur. Nice. I don't think there's anything over here worth leveling on. Some regular spinos, it looks like.
What level are you, buddy? 45. We can take him. Should be able to. Surprise the ice breath actually does anything over here, you know, with it being so hot. Oh, he's running though. What? Don't be scared, man. So, dude. Oh, man. Let me show. Bunch of stegos over there. Let me show you about this over here. So this stuff, oh man, do not climb in it. You can get damage from climbing in the water here, swimming in it. <laughs> it's it's like acidic or something. So yeah, <laughs> if you haven't been over here, you don't go swimming, man. It's not like the hot springs like you'd think. But now that we have all that, let's head back over to base, get us a glider suit made, and look at making that other hazmat suit that we got. Oh, look at the guy coming in, man. He thinks I'm not home. I'm gonna come in and try to do some damage on my mech. I need to put that mech in a cryopod. So something I forgot to show you guys on this, I found out afterwards, was to heal this guy. He has an option in here for auto repair. So if he's damaged, you hop out, hit auto repair, and as long as he doesn't take damage or you get in him, he'll start regening his own health. So that's kind of neat. I forgot to have so much stuff in here. Dude, I really need to do some maintenance around here, clean this stuff out. Anyways, other stuff we're worried about for today. So let's take those. And then those. And I think that's all that we need. Get these things smelting in the forge here. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Okay, cool. What else do we need? I think it was just some fiber and metal. Yeah, fiber. Oh, fiber hide and metal. Okay, okay. We should have some metal left. I know I used a lot of it. Oh, we, <laughs> we got a ton of it left, man. And I think it just all goes into here. Same with this, man. I've got, like, so much hide. I don't know how much it'll hold in here total. I think it's, like, 10,000 stacks or something like that. A little bit of fiber. Nice. Give us our glider suit, man. Tell you what, I need to get a... I was thinking about putting it right here. The industrial cooker. I'm needing that to make dyes and stuff. I mean, I got the little cooking pot outside, but I think right here in the middle would be pretty good. Kind of in the center of everything. Plus, we have water right there, too, you know? Very nice. That's what I like to see. Oh, man, we need to repair this stuff. Let's go ahead and throw that on there for now. We're going to have to repaint everything. It kind of messes it up. Uh, the paint job and everything. And then let's get some polymer. Repair it, and then take a look at that helmet. Oh, I didn't mean to put him into him. Dude, my pants are almost gone. Why do I always lose my pants? It's like, first thing that gets damaged is my pants. I'm just saying, something's weird about it. Almost lost my boots, too. So, yeah, that damages your chest piece whenever you use the glider suit. Just enough for that, too. Nice, man. Got everything repaired. Next thing that I wanted to do today is this. So that's 300 armor and 334 durability. What is it that we have on? That's only 74 armor, so that's going to help out a lot. It's going to look a little weird, but that's the only piece that we have. I think all of our... Yeah, that ghillie's not good enough. I want to make the tech stuff. That's not as good for insulation, is it? 153 on hyper. And then these are only... Yeah, that's not good at all, man. All right, cool. So what else do we need? I got... Oh, blue dreams. Three, 383. Oh, dude. Same with the congealed gas. Yeah, that's not going to be enough. I'm going to have to go get some more. All right, let me go farm up a little bit more of that. And we'll come back and make this. 
I think we got just about everything. I had to do quite a bit more farming because we needed uh, some more of the crystal, which I didn't realize at first. And then I had to do a couple trips to get enough of the congealed gas balls. But we got everything. Let's go ahead and take, I think it was like three something. So we'll have some left over there. I ended up just putting everything into here because of the amount of stack size. So what are we missing? Just some, a little bit more blue gems. Not a problem. Got plenty in here. I say plenty, and that might be enough. Awesome. Let's go ahead and get this crafted up, and we'll do a quick flight with the glider suit, because I'm gonna end up going down into the, the underground area where we got the gotcha from, because I think there's some beaver dams down there. And I am definitely needing some mini paste. Let's go ahead and get rid of this stuff real quick. No reason carrying it all with us. The awesome thing about the crowd pods is, man, you can go up on a high area and just float down in with everything. So this should boost our thermal up and our armor. So armor's 443. Oh, yeah, that's almost double armor just wearing that. Only thing is we got that... Oh, man, I forgot about that. Dude, that whole thing's a waste. Tell you what, I'm going to keep it on me because I need to go over into that hot area again, do a little bit more farming, and I'll need that... Uh, it should protect us from the heat. Anyways, I'm going to head up to a high little cliff over here, and we'll head down to the underground area before we call it for today. This is where we're going for now. Hopefully find some beaver dams. Awesome way to make it down, long as your chest piece doesn't break. Because <laughs> if it does, dude, this water is so shallow, why not make it out alive? Anyways, I'm going to look for some beaver dams. Going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video today. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.